Thanks for tuning in. My name is Ole Sivotsen at RES Software and I want to talk to you about the importance of personalization and how this simple concept can empower IT users and organizations. The constant struggle between IT departments and users is always heading for new heights. Well-managed desktops through lockdown and standardization are mantras for most IT administrators. On the other side of the scale is the personalized desktop where users have the freedom to adapt their workspace according to personal needs and preferences. In this never-ending wave of change, new client devices are turning up faster and faster and our users are getting more and more demanding at the same time. As a result, the cost-effective, secure and standardized desktop is under tremendous pressure. The question today is how to achieve both standardization and personalization. So, what is really personalization and why should you care? Personalization is all around us and is in many cases key for productivity and security. It is also important for comfortable user experiences. Take the example of your car. You're likely to adjust your uh, seat position and steering wheel for the best comfort. For overview and security, you want to adjust your mirrors. And for ease of operation, you may want to pre-program your favorite radio channels and so on and so on. Of course, if you only have one car and never use other vehicles and you are the only one driving this car, this personalization becomes standard and you stop thinking about it. However, you may find it annoying when all of these personal settings are gone after you had the car for a visit at the auto repair service. If other family members or colleagues are using the same car, it may become a little bit more of a headache. And if cars were like Windows PCs with mandatory profiles, you would have to manually reapply all your personal adjustments and settings every time starting the car. Now the reason this has become a challenge is that all of the personal settings are tied to the car itself. But what if you could separate all of these settings from the car and make them follow the user instead? Some car makers are already offering some of this through storing your personal seat adjustment and mirror position in your own personal car key. If the future would allow for storing these settings in your driver's license or even your fingerprint, this personalization becomes completely portable. Every time you get into the driver's seat of any car, your personal profile is automatically applied, including seats, mirrors, radio channels and whatever personal preferences the car has to offer. Now you can pick up a rental car, use one from the carpool or even get a new car without wasting any time on personalization. Ever picked up a rental car in a hurry and forgot to adjust the mirrors before you were on the highway? Or try to figure out how to find your favorite radio channels while your eyes should have been on the road? Empowering users with personalization will have significant impact on security as well as productivity and user experience. The only thing different from this example in the world of IT is that the technology for personalization has been around for more than 10 years. And applying the example to IT, users can be offered the benefits of personalization without compromising standardization and cost-effective client management. Through the concept user workspace management, all of the user's individual preferences, settings and configurations can be separated from the physical device and operating system. This allows for dynamic desktops where the personalization follows the user regardless of operating system, client device, physical or virtual desktops and so on. The devices themselves can be managed by IT in effective standardized manners, bridging the gap between the IT department and the users. Reintroducing the word personal in PCs will empower both IT departments and users. Thanks for listening. My name is Ole Sievertsen at RES Software and you can follow me on Twitter at OK Sievertsen. Now it's time to personalize. Thank you.